Want this shake? I'll show you how. First of all add your slowed down clips and your sound. We're gonna add the beats to the sound to make the editing easier. Now I'm gonna add Twixter to my clip. If you don't know how to you can watch my tutorial available on my page. In short, you just cut your clip a little longer than the beat and use the speed graph bullet and adjust it to the beats. And you just do this for every clip of yours. After we're done with that we're gonna add fade in and out to each clip. So click on your clip and go to opacity. Add a keyframe at the start, end and one in the middle but a little more to the start like I do. Put the opacity at the first and last keyframe to 45 and the middle one stays to 100. And now do this for every clip. We're gonna add graphs so don't leave the opacity section and go to your first clip. We're gonna add ease out 3 between the first and second keyframe and ease in 3 between the second and third keyframe. Yet again do this for every clip. This is how it looks like so far. Now we're gonna add animation so click on your clip and go to animation in the section in. Add the animation called swing bottom and adjust it to 0 point to seconds, add this animation to every second clip so always leave a clip in between. Go to your second clip and this time add the animation called swing right and adjust it to 0 point to seconds as well. Add this to every remaining clip. Now we're almost done. Lastly, we're gonna add zooms so click on your first clip and go to basics. We're gonna add zoom in for one clip and zoom out for another so add a keyframe at the start and end. At the end you're gonna zoom in, I'm zooming in 20% more so 120%. You can adjust the way you want it, now add this zoom in to every second clip like we did with the animation. Now go to your second clip and add a keyframe at the start and end as well. This time zoom in at the first keyframe, make sure to zoom it in the same amount as before so for me it will be 20% more. And the last keyframe stays at the normal size. So do this for every remaining clip. We're gonna add graphs to our zooms now so stay in the basics section and go to your first clip and click on the graph icon in the middle. Click on custom and watch as I do. Pull this beat to the first line at the bottom like I do and add another beat at the first line in the top. Now drag this dot down between the two lines and do the same with the other dot. It should look like this. Yet again do this for every zoom, I'll show you how I do it one more time. And we're done!
That was it with this video. If it was helpful, a like or sub would be much appreciated. See you in my next video, bye.